Hey there, everyone. It's Rev Kev here. Um, Star Wars Celebration. Lots of great stuff happening. Um, missed the Mandalorian panel this morning. I uh, was at church Sunday. You know, that's what we do. So I've uh, um, been live streaming everything and going and I'm sorry, watching all the live stream. And uh, did they black out the Mandalorian footage because there's nothing official on the uh, Disney uh, Star Wars YouTube page. So uh, found this one link of someone who recorded it while they're there. So I'm going to watch that. And uh, here's my reaction. Everything so far has been so good. Okay, here we go. Oh, first I got an ad. So we'll let the ad play through. So whoever posted this, you know, gets of their uh, their money sent to them from YouTube. Do, 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 do. Oh man, this is a long ad. It's like 34 seconds. Yeah, we'll skip that. Here we go. Mandalorian celebration footage. Just a little western shot, kind of looking there. Tracking. Get the Boba Fett gun from the holiday special. That's awesome. Oh, goosebumps. What we're bringing to the screen for the first time is a live action Star Wars series. Oh, it's so good. It takes place about five years after the Return of the Jedi. Oh, good timeline. The series follows good a Mandalorian. Line. This new character is a gunfighter, a bounty hunter, a citizen of the underworld on the outer reaches of the galaxy. It starts off with him just hunting down quarries, making his money. This is a character you've never met before in a period of time that you've never seen. There's just an aesthetic to the Mandalorian that is extremely powerful, mysterious. This armor that harkens to medieval knights. Oh, it's so good. It's relatable. We're all kind of covered in our own armor. Riding on the dewback. Nice. Day three. We started a little bit fast and then moved into that position. In terms of the directors, I think John chose the team really, really well. Here we go! Obviously Dave, Bryce, Deborah, Rick, and then Taika. Different voices and personalities that each of the filmmakers were bringing to the table and wanted to bring that to the world with Star Wars. Everybody's point of view is sort of involved in the story. This series offers the opportunity to introduce oh, new kinds. I've like totally put my hairs in my armor standing races right. and species. Oh, it's so good. New starships. However, we wanted to feel completely connected and familiar. George Lucas. It's truly an adventure. A Star Wars adventure. It has the heart that Star Wars has always been about. Oh. It will feel gritty, it will feel real. But anybody could sit down in their seat and watch and enjoy. goodness oh my goodness is so good man just everything being presented so far at celebration this year is just bang on bang on oh my goodness i i have hope i have hope lucasfilm you've, you've you've restored my hope don't let us down this looks so great Man. Oh, I gotta go watch that again. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs>